Cake pops aren't just for kids. They're a fun, easy dessert that tastes like decadent truffles, and they're the perfect treat for those dads out there. For Father's Day, Nancy Parent of Tears of Joy Cake Design Studio in Ledlow, Mass., joins me now on the show. Welcome back. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be back. So you do some pretty elaborate cakes, not just cake pops. I do. And I you do. do them for weddings, really any type of uh, occasion? Novelty and wedding cakes are really what I do most of. All right. In fact, we have some great pictures. Let's take a look at them okay. because uh, very impressive. Now, this is a wedding cake, I would assume? Yes. It's um, three different tiers, and that allowed them to have three different flavors Ooh. so that guests could choose what they wanted. So it's a beach theme. I love that. And is that a hummingbird, it looks like? It's a hummingbird, and it's actually um, a hand-painted cake that uh, my daughter saw in a book and wanted for a special occasion Did at she her put house. you to work? She did. She's very good at directing, <laughs> yes. not so much in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, and then we have a look. Oh, my goodness, that one is just fabulous. That was for a bridal shower, and what says bride more than somebody with a new pair of shoes? That's true. Now, are you seeing groom cakes a lot, too? I do. I do a lot of groom's cakes. Oh, and that's a lovely wedding cake as well. My favorite bride, Melody, picked this cake. It's an offset square, and I just loved the fall colors. Yeah, lovely. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> my little Liam, he's two years old this year, and he was having his uh, birthday at a, at a petting farm, and uh, he wanted this cake. Well, you can make a cake out of just about anything. It looks like we have one here for Halloween, too. Yeah, the melting witch. I love that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to concentrate on the cake pops today. Okay. But, uh, how did this idea come about? Cake pops have an interesting history. Uh, you see them everywhere. You see them online. Yeah. You see them in bakeries. You see them at Starbucks. It came from cake decorators who just didn't want to throw away the scraps. Almost like the munchkin idea, I yeah. guess, right? With donuts? Yeah. <laughs> and for years and years, they just like packaged them up and gave them to their friends and family. But now there's a business out of it. So right. I'm going to tell you what you need, and then yes, I'm going to show you how do. to do it. Um, I made one recipe of a buttermilk cake, but this is also uh, one box cake if you wanted to just use a box cake. Okay. I have candy melts in um, vanilla and chocolate. You can buy those in your craft store for about $3 a bag. I have buttercream. We're probably going to use about a cup and a half for this much cake, but you have to you know, play with it, see the consistency. I bought... Um, so long, some, some people call them Jimmy sprinkles. You can get those Shots. in the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can buy lollipop sticks for about $3 for 100 in a craft store and some little holders in case you don't want pops. Okay. So I'm going to start while I tell people um, if you don't have a cake uh, warming chocolate uh, device like this, what you can do is you can take some Pyrex bowls, mm -hmm. put some chocolate, and you melt it in the microwave. Oh. And you do it for like 30 seconds at a time, and you keep um, stirring them and make sure it doesn't burn. And then once you get them melted, you can take an electric frying pan, put about half an inch of water, put it on simmer, and leave your little bowls in that, and it'll keep your oh, that's chocolate soft. Oh, that's a great tip, Nancy. So, All right, so you're kind of mixing up that cake, right? You just break <laughs> it up. Um, you just make it crumbs, basically. Okay. Then you take some buttercream, and really the best way to do this is to just, if you don't like messy hands, and I really don't like messy hands, you just get gloves. Easy. And you basically just... Now, this buttercream has a tint of orange in it, it looks like. This is um, one of my favorite flavors. It's blood orange. And the difference with blood orange and regular orange is that blood orange has some strawberry undertones to it. Ooh. So I find it's very popular because... Here, let me throw some cake around. Um, because it doesn't actually have that sharp taste of, of orange. Okay. So you want to get it to a consistency where you can actually roll some balls. All right. Almost like we're making cookies. <laughs> exactly like you're making cookies. And this recipe here, I'm making them a little bit big here just to show you. Hopefully on TV you can see it well. Yes. But this recipe here would make about 50 balls. Okay. So basically what Ooh, you want I'm to do. I'm smelling the orange. You can, I love yeah. This. It's like being in Florida. <laughs> so from here, what you do is you actually take them and you put them in the freezer. And luckily for us with the magic of television, magic we of have TV. Them you in the have freezer. some done already, Nancy? We do. How long are they in the freezer for? About 10 minutes. Okay. So before you put them in the freezer like these, what you're going to do is, if you want pops, is you're right. going to take a stick, you're going to put it in your um, chocolate. Oh, so that's kind of like the glue. I get it. That is the glue. And that's when you stick them in the freezer. Now, these have been in the freezer, so we're just going to push those aside for now. Okay. And all you're going to do is take this, dip it in the chocolate, tap it off a few times so okay. that... You get the excess chocolate off, and you can leave it plain, or you can dip it. Oh, how pretty that in is! Sprinkles and just make some cute little sprinkles. Now, is that you, pretty much it? 
That's it. <laughs> That's that nice. It. That's easy. That is it. And it is easy, and it's been a well-kept secret. Can I try one of these? Yeah, please do. Let's give it a shot here. I'm actually going to dip one that's going to be not on a stick. All right. A little cake ball, or some people call them, I call them cake truffles. Mmm. These are terrific. Nancy, thank you so much for being here. I should have taken a smaller bite. <laughs> but these are fantastic. Thank you. It was and great to be here. Of course, we'll find the recipe on WTNature.com. Yes.